Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement slash trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Norman's Great Illusion, a simulation slash management game developed by Civil Savages, published by Sometimes You, other times not, <laughs> worst joke ever, but is available to you for a small £4.19 or $4.99 US. By the way, big thank you to Sometimes You for providing the code in which to bring you this guide. So the premise of the game is we play as Norman and have to live a life as an engineer for a year, trying to gain money so your family doesn't, you know, starve and die. Trying to do good at work so, you know, you don't sort of starve and die. And that's basically it. There are seven endings, but for all the achievements and trophies, we only need three. To play through one will take the longest at about half an hour as we need to survive for a year but I'll go through bits to make sure you know exactly what to do and how we get there. So this will take a roughly around an hour or so to complete, so it's easy enough, but with that being said, let us begin. So you start off with $200 and we'll start off at day one. So go straight to your wardrobe there, get dressed, and then right at the top corner of the house, go and eat uh, breakfast with your family. There's a lot of conversation, there's a lot of dialogue, so you know if you're interested in sort of having a look and wondering what the story is, obviously by all means do that, but what we'll be doing first is basically playing, there's only two mini games throughout the whole game, but we've got to make sure not to fail at them, this is very important, so throughout the year we've got to make sure we don't fail them, but it's easy enough, so when the meter goes green, that's where you press the A button or the X button, don't press it when it goes black, otherwise that counts as a fail, so it's easy enough, you only have to do this a couple of times, uh, about five or six times before we get to work. Uh, it's really, really easy. The, you see the meter on the left? You've got to fail it like a like a whole hell of times before something bad happens. But obviously make sure not to do that anyway. So now we are at work. And you see the two uh, dots at the bottom there? We cannot fail more than twice a day at work. We cannot fail more than twice a day at work. So basically you're going to have these little calculations now. So my advice would be to get a calculator ready so you can just input the numbers and then go mad from there. So obviously the star will be times and then when you see two dots as well, that's actually divide. So just in case you get confused by that. So if it says something like two times three divided by one, that will be the uh, two dots. That is the divide button. But these are really easy enough, but you do get time, so obviously I pause the game, input the numbers into a calculator, and that's just the easiest way I found, unless you're a goddamn mathematical legend. They're easy enough, but you, when you're time, you get put under pressure, don't you? And you sort of uh, poop yourself then. So, if you've done that, your first day at work, you get a reward, you get a bonus. Now, basically, the reason we... The reason why we've got to not fail is we don't want to be losing any money because if we lose all the money, we won't survive the year and then thus you will not get the achievement for the playthrough uh, for completing it for a whole year. So this is what you'll always get then. Spending $90. I don't know what the goddamn hell you're spending $90 on. Probably her hair. Some beach. Or probably food, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. But when we are home, talk to the family and then just go to bed. And like I said, this first playthrough will take roughly around half an hour to complete because it goes up to sort of day 32, then day 64. Um, so there's nothing really interesting that happens. All we'll be doing for now then is you just go to your wardrobe, go back to your kitchen, play the car minigame again. When you get to work for the, on the second day, you have a choice. Any of these choices do not matter. You get an achievement for picking whatever you want anyway, but there is only one choice that will matter and that comes on day 185. And obviously I'll just uh, get there. You'll get another achievement here. Um, I tried to find a policeman nearby. I actually ended up losing $50, son of a bitch, because I was late for work. So I'm not sure if any of the other options there help out in losing you money there but if it if that is an achievement that you need in a course just go for that you'll still have plenty of money by the end of it anyway so now we are on day 185 and remember all the choices up till now haven't mattered but this one is very important and it does matter as soon as we leave the house we need to make sure that we basically tell the policeman 
So inform the police just in case. And with that, that gives us $200, which helps us big time, especially after losing 50 earlier, because my work can suck a big old giant floppy dong. DX. And again, it's just doing the same mini games. You know, you literally should be used to it by now. And now we're on to day 215. Now, this is the day where we actually get promoted. So we get we do get another achievement for being promoted. But we've got a few small little run-throughs of this left now. And but I just thought I'd show you anyway. So we'll be again, once again, getting into the car. I mean, you really should know what to do by now, otherwise, well, I'm sorry, I, I, I just can't help you. Oh, go through it as normal, go through your working day as normal. The music's awesome, by the way, I really do enjoy the music. It sounds like some weird alien stuff. But anyway, once we are home, we get a letter and we get a promotion. This is, of course, only possible if you haven't failed at all throughout your working career so far. So as long as you haven't failed anything, you will get that achievement. Now we are on to day 276. Again, this is a story-related achievement, but basically I'm just I'm showing you all of the achievements anyway because I'm nice like that. So it's Christmas, everyone's still stressed and angry and pissed off, even though, man... Come on, it's Christmas. But we don't actually need to be going to work. All we need to do is uh, we're going to a party. And boy, we're going to get... we got to get coked up. LSD, drugs. Yay! I mean, we're going to have a respectable drink. And then we're going to go home to our stressful house life. Nice. But you do get an achievement for, <laughs> for that anyway. Which is all good, so now we can just go straight to bed. Nobody wants to see you, apparently, because you're all stunk up of whiskey. And well, that's never a bad smell, is it? Whiskey's, whiskey's a goddamn nice smell. And we wake up on day 307 now. And basically, this is another important decision that we have to make. As soon as we get to work, we need to choose resign. So again... Bit of breakfast, bit of bit of loving at the table. Poof, no loving for you. Stressed as hell. You've still got to do this mini game there and back. Again, providing you haven't failed, you should be absolutely golden nuggets by now, to be honest. But once we get there, with the music in the background, funky as anything. So as soon as you get there, choose resign. And this nets us another achievement. So make sure to choose resign. That gets us another achievement. And like I said, we've got to do the goddamn car mini game again. Which is fine, but can we just take a walk? Happy walk. Because everyone wants to resign from their job, really, don't they? Um, but now then, this is day 338. This is the final day. So if you've done everything, what you've seen so far in the video, you haven't failed any of the mini games, inform the police on, on day 185. And resigned on day 307. As soon as you go outside, you can choose any option. It literally does not matter. But this is the end of the first playthrough then. So, awesome. We also survived, which is extremely sad for the other nine guys. But we get our first playthrough achievement. Now, the next two are extremely short. We only need to get to day 64, which is the third sort of little run through. So, once you press A or X button on PlayStation... Go to new game, we'll go to day one. We've got the uh, Bori, uh, this Boris Johnson floppy dickhead hair type going on now. It's not looking good, is it? Look like a, look like a right knob. Do the same thing, fly out, fly out, happy days. But basically what we're going to be doing this time is failing everything. So with the car mini game, just don't press any buttons. We're going to be just be literally chilling throughout this now. And like I said, you'll see the meter on the left. That'll start gradually rising up. And then you should fail. <coughs> excuse me. You should fail um, just as we are coming home. You don't have enough time to fail yet. Same with when you get to work. Just press the enter button or press a random number and then a button. As long as uh, we need to fail five times. So our boss is absolutely fuming with us. Which, to be fair, I mean, most of us are like that in our jobs anyway. And don't say we're not, because we are. 
I am anyway. I don't know why I've still got my job, but it's going well. So, yeah, again with a mini game, just failed this. And then we absolutely get smashed up, son. But we have totaled our car, and that gets us another achievement. So, you know, it's a bit of a bit of a pessimistic uh, achievement, that, isn't it? A bit of a narcissistic one. Crash your car, nearly kill someone, but get an achievement. So you, you do have to play through day 32, so just do the exact same thing as we just did on day one. So fail both of the minigames. And then we'll get to day 62, and we'll have a choice as soon as we enter outside. So to get this ending, what we need to do is... Um, get revenge on the factory owner, which is the third option. So go ahead, pick that. Um, <laughs> revenge could be anything apart from burning down your boss's mansion. But that's what we do. And we need to go through the same thing again then. So day one, it's just exactly the same as we've done. So failing both the minigames, the car and work. Get through day 32, do the exact same thing. And then we'll get to day 64 where we will choose a different option for a different ending. If you don't do politics, politics will do you. Ain't that the friggin' truth. So here we are then. We are up now to day 64. Make sure... Uh, day 62, sorry. Ah, close enough, isn't it? Sorry, Boris Buff Pants, SpongeBob Buff... Butthole... Butt face. Go get dressed first. You can't obviously eat dinner in in the nude or in your boxes, which I find frankly disgusting because, oh, that's what I do. How else are you supposed to enjoy breakfast? Pff, fully dressed in a suit? Nah. But this time then, we are, this is the end now. This is literally the end. All we've got to do is just pick one more option and that is the join a clandestine Marxist study circle. And that's it. That will be that then, guys and gals. So, thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope that this guide has helped and that you've enjoyed the game. It was... wasn't too bad, but, you know, we've all played better, haven't we, frankly? No offence. Uh, but, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope all the hints and tips have helped. Don't forget to check me out on all my socials, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram... Uh, whatever the hell I'm on. All the links will be provided in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe of course and big shout out to TimG84 for his amazing continued support on Patreon. Thank you very, very much guys and gals. See you in the next one then. Big love.